Physical surveillance is when governments or other groups or criminal actors or terrorist groups put journalists in particular under surveillance. That could be people on foot that are following journalists. It can mean having people parked in cars looking at offices and watching who comes in and out or following people as they drive away in their cars. It can mean setting up people in fixed locations when a journalist is going to have a meeting with sources. And it could be uh, a number of other steps to keep journalists in their sites in addition to doing it in tandem with electronic or digital surveillance. We are at an age now where you can no longer separate the possibility of physical surveillance from digital surveillance. Journalists in particular have to be aware of both their physical footprints on the ground as well as their digital footprints in terms of communications and storing information. The journalists who are most at risk of being surveilled are journalists who are investigating corruption involving corrupt government actors who have ties to criminal organizations because those individuals, those suspects have the most to lose and intimidating or attacking a journalist is unfortunately often an effective way to silence them in many nations. If a journalist believes that they could be under surveillance, they should go through a number of steps to, to try and detect that surveillance and do it in a subtle way that doesn't telegraph to the surveillance that they have been identified. Because the idea is you want to realize that you're under surveillance. You want to take measures like working with colleagues to lead the surveillance down, let's say, a narrow path where you have colleagues who are set up to be able to photograph and take notes about about that particular person that is following the journalist and then evaluate the threat with, their, with colleagues and then take measures to mitigate against that threat. I think journalists need to make sure that they don't underestimate risks and they need to give themselves a margin of error. I don't think this is dangerous. Well, give yourself a little more space because you could be wrong and you don't know what you don't know. So presume it's dangerous, but give yourself enough of a margin of error that you have a cushion. So if things go south or if things go sideways, you're still gonna be in a relatively not exposed place.